Hello, this is Anon Limas, and today I would like to expand a little bit more on going beyond thoughts. I first would want to start off by saying that we have chosen to go through the process of contrast or polarity. The vision was to find ourselves through the illusions in the simulation. We have the freedom to explore separation and contrast. The expanding universe can be traced back in time to the primordial and non-physical single point, which is pure potentiality, and this manifests from within. Most of our misunderstanding stems from faulty premises that we hold to be true about ourselves, the world, and the purpose within it. The issue is misidentification. This stems from getting completely seduced by our thinking mind. Thoughts create boundaries, limitations, judgments, obstacles, discriminations, distractions, diversions, fear, we have chosen to hide in the egoic delusion. When we try to think our way through problems, we usually complicate it more. It is up to us to find ourselves by creating some space between us and the thinking mind. Everything that we see and experience is an arrangement of dream phenomena and facade. You as the person will never go beyond this simulation because the person is a part of the simulation. We've lost the clarity to the fact that the illusion is in fact an illusion. You are not the character with the storyline going through the motions of life. You are the silent watcher of them. An illusion doesn't experience reality. It is reality that experiences the illusion. For reality is one indivisible unified stream. It is not individuated. It is not separate. And so long as you are in a delusional state, contrived by your thinking mind and senses, all sorts of distractions and complexities will be trying to capture your attention. By living as a human being, it's important to see that is an unconscious default to keep you anchored in third density. Once we are caught by the mire and muck of the mind, we strive to give it oxygen, our attention, our energy, our time. And this is what keeps us trapped within the mind and stubbornly cling to falsehoods. Most of the things that are explained by your thinking mind is there to serve the illusion. The issue is misidentification. It is important to sever the ties to empty, unsubstantial phenomena. The only thing that you need to focus on is the fundamental truth and nothing else. There are no exceptions. Anybody who is trapped within delusion can only use as a reference point the illusion. When the thinking mind appears within your scene, it's important not to give it your time and attention and energy by over-identifying or associating with it. Because believing in thoughts give it power and that controls your perception and in turn your perspectives. Thoughts can be a positive placebo, it can help point you to direction inwards to heal, or it can produce a negative effect, which is a nocebo. With the exception of practical thinking that you need to survive and function in society, you don't have to get engaged with the mind. You have to see the gap between your thoughts and recognize the source from where all the thoughts are coming from. 
which is the field of limitless potential. This way you are not completely mired in delusion. Take the time to silence your mind. And what I mean by silencing your mind is not trying to stop, repress, or control your thoughts. That would be impossible. You can observe them from a distance with space so you're detached from them. These thoughts come and go without your energy giving them a reality of its own. As long as you're caught up with an ongoing story created by your mind, this endless mental chatter, you will not have peace, silence, stillness, and clarity of mind. This is a form of madness. You cannot see things as they are. Who you truly are gets overlooked. So take the time to recognize the illusion. Do not invalidate the illusion. Simply realize that it is a part of the dream world. Its foundations does not lie in truth. Return to the source where all these foundations had spread forth from. This is where you'll find your true home.